Okay, you just watched us do a prediction for each group. Um, we're going to move now into the round of 16. Now, each of our predictions will be different because we have yeah. different firsts or seconds, anything like that. So we'll each give predictions for what we think each game is going to be, and we'll talk about it and we'll see what we think about that tie or anything like that. Um, I'll start it off with the first one, Uruguay versus Portugal. I think that'll be a very attack-minded game. I think, you know, back and forth. Yeah. I see Uruguay going through, Nice, but um, what do you guys think about that? I have the exact same matchup, Uruguay-Portugal. Mm-hmm. I have to agree. I have Uruguay going through. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, mine's, like, of course, slightly different. Uruguay-Morocco. <laughs> so, but, of course, Uruguay will be going through. They have definitely have the edge defensively and attacking-wise. So If Morocco's in that game, it would just be, that'd be outstanding. <laughs> be good for them if they are. Yeah. You know? uh, okay, let's move on to the next one. So the second one I have is France versus Croatia. Okay. Um, I have France going through. I think they're just going to have the talent yeah. to beat Croatia there. <laughs> I think Croatia will, will have a good fight, you know, midfield-wise. But I think France are just better in any position. My round of 16 is just a... Uh, it's set up to be a hell of a match. <laughs> France, Argentina. So, because I That'd don't, be a great game. For whatever reason, yeah, I, I have Croatia, it seems, first, surprising mm-hmm. people. And yeah, uh, this is uh, the last World Cup for Messi, and it'll be against France. And unfortunately, they're out in the round of 16. You want to say that louder? Argentina will be out in the round of 16 because they will be playing France. You if see, my World Cup goes as planned. Prediction. Oh. Yeah. But, I mean, yeah, France are just overall much better mm. than Argentina all over the pitch. And, you know, obviously Argentina I would argue struggle. that they're not better all over the pitch. I'd argue that yeah. Argentinian strikers yeah, are better. Yeah, But I think France will have the quality to go through, through past mm-hmm. them. Mm-hmm. What do you have, Lucas? I have France versus Nigeria. Rematch mm. of 2014 round of 16 yeah, yeah. encounter. Yeah. But I have France going through. Mm. That'd be, that'd be an interesting game, I think. Oh, I'm, happened four years ago. Yeah. I, I'm, I have this little feeling that Nigeria might be interesting. All the hype's with them right now, you know? Mm-hmm. They have some good players with them. I hope they I live like up the to the hype. I the hype's just around their kit, honestly. Their kit is so awesome. Yeah. I was looking online in the Nike shop. Not even on the website. Completely sold out. I clicked. I typed in Nigeria, and they came up with, okay. do you want these boots instead? I was like, no, I don't want these boots. I want the jersey. <laughs> yeah. um, Next one I have... Is Brazil Mexico? Dude, I think we Same all have, here, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, and then I have going through. I have Brazil. Yeah, of course. Brazil. I, feel, I hope I hope Mexico can pull up a fight, but yeah, I think Brazil. I think that's gonna be an interesting there. match. You know, Brazil and Mexico, two very passionate fan bases. Yeah, so Mexico yeah. can definitely pull up a fight. That's gonna be oh, fun. Yeah, yeah. Didn't they play last World Cup too? Yeah. No, no, no. Mexico no. played the Dutch in the last World oh, Cup. Oh, okay. yeah, my bad. Robin dived in the 94th minute and got him a penalty. I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> After that, I have England Colombia. Um, wow, I have Belgium, Poland, England. Oh, okay. I, ha- I have England beating Colombia. Actually, I have oh, Belgium, really? Senegal. That'd be a good game. Yeah, actually. <laughs> but so. no. But I, I have England beating Colombia. I think England. I again, England, another team. I don't know. They could have a great tournament. They could have a poor tournament. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Um, I have yeah, Belgium going through to the quarterfinals to play Brazil. Uh, they just yeah, kind of overall better squad than Senegal, but. Yeah, I think it won't be a comfortable game for Belgium. I can see it going to penalties or extra time. So, yeah. I have Belgium Poland in their matchup. Mm-hmm. If Gleek is playing, I'm going with Poland. Fair enough. So, I'm yeah, going to put no, Poland no, in my no. prediction. And I hope this is not too confusing to any of you guys because I know it's like we're all different and everything like that. Um, again, the, we'll have pictures of our predictions, you know, on our social media mm-hmm. and uh, we'll link everything like that. But um, carrying on. Next one, I have Spain versus Egypt. I have Spain going through. <laughs> no shock there. Yeah, I have Spain, Saudi Arabia. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so Spain quite comfortably. Probably uh, maybe a 3-0 win. I have Spain versus so. Russia. No, I see a 2002 conspiracy theory yeah, coming up. Honestly, you're not Russia going... No, I'm just kidding. I have Spain going through. Yeah, yeah I was going to say. Oh, no. the same. <laughs> Next yeah. up, I have Argentina versus Denmark. And then I have Argentina going through. I have Argentina, Peru, and I have Argentina going through. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Croatia, Denmark for me. <laughs> Croatia going through. I mean, yeah, yeah I, that's a game that actually can, can go uh, the distance as well. Two yeah. similar squads. I feel. I see. I feel like a lot of these games could go to the distance. Honestly, mm-hmm. 
Like, Next, oh, sorry, you like Argentina, Peru, South American encounter. Yeah, you never know. Yes, yeah, Spain, Saudi Arabia. <laughs> <laughs> so. Next up, I have Germany versus Switzerland. Uh, do you have the same as well? Yeah, we should. No, I have no. Germany, Serbia. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I have, I have Germany, Switzerland. Yeah, we, uh, we both have Germany going through. Uh, Germany, comfortable win, I feel. Yeah. Who do you have going through yours? Uh, I feel like it's going to be a tight game, but Germany will go through. Yeah. And then last but not least, I have Poland versus Belgium. And I have Belgium going through. I have Poland, England. With England going through, oh, but wow. this is but you know with the news that Camille Glick is possibly going to be probably playing for Poland, that does change my opinion, and you know Poland could probably actually go to the uh, quarterfinals. I have Colombia, England. Mm-hmm. When I first made this prediction a few days ago, I had Colombia going through, mm-hmm. but I changed my mind. England, wow, you'll meet Germany in the quarterfinal. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So, moving on to the quarterfinals. Let's go back up to the first one there. Yeah. Um, Uruguay versus France is what I have. I have France going through. I think the attacking Uruguay is great, yeah. but I think France has the quality to go through. Uh, I have to agree with Liam. Yeah, he so. has the exact same. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have, I have the exact same wow. prediction. Yeah. Look at us fully agreeing there. <laughs> Next up, I have Brazil versus England. This is a comfortable one for me. Brazil walks all over England. Uh, well, mine's a little different. Brazil, Belgium, mm. and I think you know that's a that'll be a very fun game to watch. But I think Brazil will definitely watch uh, win the match. I Brazil Poland again. This is depending if yeah. Gleek is starting his game this, or not. Okay, Gleek does not have that much impact on this <laughs> World Cup. Me? Are you kidding? <laughs> no, you what, do not know. Who the, no, I do. But what you're saying is because this one player is back in, they are now advancing yeah, from the round of sixteen. <laughs> To the semifinals. You know, Paz Dan is a... Glick is a, like... He's a world-class center back almost. Like, no. Highly rated. He doesn't he, have this much impact. He is highly rated in France. They, he's an amazing center back. Great. He's not going to get them to walk past him. I'm everyone. sorry. In FIFA, he had a 94 rated team this season. That I says a lot. I don't care about Look, FIFA. I understand that, but he's... And his World Cup card is 86 rated. That says something. And he plays great for the national <sighs> team. He's a great leader. And here's the thing. Pazdan has also played well in the past. He plays well for the national team. But it's like, you take out Glick, and do you know how bad their next center back I'm, in line is? I'm in a Polish house right now. I feel like I'm not going to come out here alive. <laughs> like, if you don't hear from me next episode, Tiago send Konyak help. It's like the next center back in line behind Pazdan. He's terrible. And, he, anyway. and Kaminsky as well is there. Oh, and like, no, no, it's Ben Benzari. Okay. So, okay, he's okay, but still, it's like... So okay. I, I have Brazil being Poland. Yeah, yeah. Just my thing I was saying, just I feel like League would help Poland Smash get through to glass. beat Belgium. <laughs> but yeah, Brazil oh, going man. through. Don't worry. Don't worry. Back back to my game, my prediction, Brazil, England. I think Phil Jones will play and it will just become almost like a seven one. I could see Brazil just trouncing England. I hate to break it to you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Moving on to the to the third one, <laughs> Spain versus Argentina. It's the end of the road for Messi and his boys. Spain goes through. Uh, I have Spain, Croatia, <laughs> and Spain going through. But oh, that could be, actually no. I have Spain having a comfortable win against. <laughs> yeah, they, Spain have for me Saudi Arabia, third Croatia, and then oh yeah. Who do you have, Lucas? Uh, I have Spain, Argentina. I'm gonna, I feel like I might regret this, but I'm having Argentina going through. No. Just no. Just simple no. It's my opinion. I don't care. Simple <laughs> no. I mean, you got the messy factor, <laughs> but you know, we, we all have different opinions here. Last and not least, I have Germany versus Belgium, and the Germans do the business. I have Germany versus England. Same. I think Germany's going through, Was. Yeah, no doubt, but I feel like England uh, will give, give them a fight. Not if Phil Jones is there. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's, well, let's start semifinal match. Semifinal. So who do you have, Liam? I have France and Brazil. Mm-hmm. I think that'd be an outstanding game. I think it'd be just... Wait, it, wait, wait. It, do we all have similar oh, semifinals? Well, let's let yeah, Liam yeah, talk okay. through his... Yeah, I have France-Brazil. Okay. I, I think that'd be just a brilliant game. I think it would be... I think it'd be one of the greatest games. It'd be like a final yeah. almost, yeah. you know? I have France going through. Simply because... Their defense, I think, is better than the Brazilian defense. That's the only that's mm-hmm. the only reason. 
I have the exact same match. I think this could be match of the yeah, tournament. Yeah. But I disagree with you. Mm -hmm. I think France, Loris, he seems a bit iffy to me. He hasn't really been the best goalkeeper, no. I think, in the past year. Especially mm -hmm. against the U.S. He made an yeah. awful mistake yeah, okay. with the Julian yeah, did, Green yeah. goal. And their defense, they sometimes just fall asleep. They're great going forward, mm -hmm. as well as Brazil. As, I think Brazil has a better defense, in my opinion. Griezmann yeah. has to have an outstanding tournament. He has to he has to go out there with golden boot no, in mind. No, it's okay, because, you know, France have the secret weapon, in my opinion. Mbappe? Yes. Yeah. Mm. He, this, I think, will be him announcing Mbappe, I think... I'm just, I'm just going to say it. I think he gets the Golden Boy Award. Or no, Golden Boot. Golden Boot? Golden yeah. Boy. So, yeah, but <laughs> I have Brazil going through to the final, okay. beating France. Honestly, yeah, I can respect that. What's your... Pick? I have France going through against Brazil, but yeah, I mean, I think France just have a little bit of an edge in the midfield as well. I think Paul Pogba has proved the doubt is wrong. So two out of three of us have France in the final. Mm -hmm. Controversial, I think. I think people are going to say, oh, well, yeah. they're, they haven't exactly proven themselves necessarily in the World Cup. They, they did well in Euros, but they have to show up this tournament. You know, they, they, they're not going to have a walkthrough. They need, mm -hmm. they have some tough opposition we've seen. Or potential tough opposition, at least. They need to show up and have great games. I, I think they kind of... Uh, France, sure, maybe their defense kind of maybe doesn't look... They got Varane, who's quality. Uh, who Umtiti. Else? Umtiti's played well for Barcelona. But I think their midfield is also very good defensively. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Paul Pogba can come back and play. They've got Conte, who's like... He's like a godlike <laughs> midfield who can come back and forward. It's like, wow. I counter that with Casemiro, who... He's a fantastic yeah, center defensive he's midfielder. He's very good center defensively, but I don't think he, you can really compare him to Pogba or Conte. Well, or they're, maybe, they're different players, yeah. but Pogba isn't a defensive player, in my opinion. He, he is under Mourinho. But, yeah, is. but I mean, I think he's got that size. Mourinho's too. made Anthony Martial a defensive player. So, Brazil, they make Paulinho look like a yeah amazing player. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so did Barca, to be fair. But mm -hmm. Well, let's go to the other uh, quarterfinal, or semifinal, sorry. I have Spain versus Germany. Okay. Rematch tough the, one. Yeah, rematch of the 2010 yeah. semifinal. Yeah, tough game. I have Germany going through. I think Germany have a little bit more quality to, to do the business. I, yeah. I, I made these predictions with Leroy Sané in the team. Mm -hmm. So with him not being there, it's kind of different. But... Um, I, th I think they'll be okay. I think I think they can they can do it against Spain. What's your semifinal? Uh, it's Germany, Spain, and I have Spain going through. Mm. I think they maybe have a little bit more quality ahead of uh, Germany. Germany kind of lack the experience, but they also have very good young players and good players coming through. I, I think maybe David De Gea is going to play amazing. He does well for Spain. Honestly, uh, it seems Spain and Germany did have a friendly in March, and it was 1-1. So, yeah. Lucas? So, my semifinal is Argentina versus Germany. Mm. Uh, I have Argentina going through. Wow. I've, I have a South American final. I, don't, I feel like Messi's... This team, I think they're going to finally work for the first time in how many years? Okay. Even though they yeah. struggled to get through qualifying? Yeah, but I believe in this manager. They have Sam Poli. Yeah. I think he's figured out what he needs to do. Mm-hmm. I they haven't played the toughest teams in their friendlies, but I think he knows how to get the best out of his players other than Messi. Yeah, that's fair. Higuain has to have a good tournament. Mm -hmm. He has to actually do things yeah. now. Yeah. So final. I have France versus Germany. I think it'd be a great game, you know, all the arguably the two greatest European teams going at it. I have Germany coming out on top. That's so boring. That'd be so yeah. boring. I, I think they're going to go two in a row, I have to say. Uh, I have France-Spain with France winning the World Cup. I mm. think they, just, they have such an exciting team and all around the pitch is very strong. I don't mm. know. I just see a lot of promise in this French team. And I feel like they really want to make up from uh, 2016, which I don't know why people are not looking at 2016 because they beat Germany. They beat Italy. They just kind of came up short in the final because of some goal from, what's his name? Adair. Yeah, yeah, it just comes out of nowhere. So, I mean. Yeah, they had a poor final, but and they I, had a good tournament. I feel tournament, like their yeah. defense is stronger compared to the 2016 tournament, which kind of gives them a bit more of an edge. Mm -hmm. So, they got, 
a better attack from 2016, especially with Mbappe. Mm-hmm. Um, their defense is stronger. It's not injury kind of. Well, they had some injuries going into 2016 tournament, right? I think Varane missed it. Yeah, Varane missed yeah. it. So that uh, kind of gives him. Loris can play well. Uh, he's known as a top keeper. And, you know, when it comes to the World Cup, players kind of raise their level and, you know, f- the focus is higher. So me and Waz have an all European final. Yeah. Lucas has an all South American final. Now, I would love to see that final. Who who comes out on top here? Oh, man. There's this this is you could write so many headlines about Neymar this. Neymar yeah. versus Messi, yeah. you know. Messi's last chance. Neymar maybe this is Neymar this taking is, the torch yep, as yeah, the next yep. best player. Oh, it's so Bra- tough for me. Brazil versus Argentina. That that, that that by itself is is a headline right <laughs> there, yeah. <laughs> that would probably actually be the most entertaining World Cup final this, in years. I feel like this World Cup final, that World Cup final would be one remembered for the next 50 to 100 yeah, years. Yeah. I think when it, there's such a big difference between South American and European teams. European mm-hmm. teams are kind of more oriented on possession yeah. and defense, while South America is like attack, attack, attack. So who so, wins it? So before I made these predictions, like months ago... Don't make excuses now. I had a feeling of Argentina winning the tournament, but... When I was making these tournaments, that feeling changed. I feel like Brazil, Neymar, Coutinho, Gabriel Jesus, yeah. it's their time. It, yeah. Marquinhos, Thiago Silva. We don't need to name the whole team. <laughs> I've, <laughs> I've slagged off Brazil a few times in this show. I, I, I still think their, their defense will be their, their soft spot. But attackingly, I think they can score as many goals as they want against any team they want. So, I mean, I think whoever, if Brazil, if Brazil gets been in this tournament, it'll take a damn good team to do it. Mm-hmm. And Brazil, they want to make up for their 7-1 debacle mm-hmm. four yeah. years ago. Yeah. This would easily make up, well, not easily because it's kind of embarrassing for fans losing on home soil. But I think they'd be okay if they lift the trophy. Yeah. And this is a big, like, new generation of Brazil. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And exciting, too. It could yeah. be great. Yeah. I, I, I'd rather see Argentina win. But I see Brazil edging it out in this well, matchup. Here's the thing. It's like, well, everybody has says, oh, well, Messi needs to win the World Cup to be the greatest player of all time. Well, I mean, he's already the greatest individual player to grace the pitch, in my opinion. But, see, there's you know, other people. There's like ha- one side that always say, yeah, like, I don't know. Ronaldo is the best. Because no, he, I, I'm part of the side where I says, the moment he lifts the World Cup <laughs> trophy, he's the greatest of all time, undoubtedly. Mm-hmm. Until then he loses out to his country mate, Diego Maradona, because he did it for his country. I just don't get that at all. It's like individual talents, like individual, well, You right? have to win. And like, yeah, but it's a team sport. You got to look at the importance to the country too. Like mm. Argentina, many Argenti- Argentines think that Mar- Maradona is the best because mm-hmm. they brought him glory that they yeah. will never forget. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Um, if Messi can bring him glory in this generation... You know, he might surpass him not True, only does, to us, but to Argentinians. He always does tend to step up for his country, so. Yeah, it could be Messi's know. year, but yeah. you guys think it's uh, France? Yeah, you, you have no, Brazil, Germany's. he has France, and I have Germany. We have three different winners of this tournament. So one of us, oh, we might all be we wrong. Might, who, let us, Saudi Arabia wins it. <laughs> let us know who you guys think will win this tournament. Yeah, like. definitely. Yeah. Comment everything, you know, if you're on Facebook, YouTube, wherever you're listening, you know, write comments. Um Contact us through social media of who you agree with, you know, what games you might think go a different way, you know, what your groups look like. I highly recommend everyone goes on to the FIFA website and does an actual bracket. It's really interesting to see how different games can be played out. Do you think there might be some uh, controversy when it comes to Russia? Because could could Russia have a surprise run to the semifinals? (laughs) So, well, there'd be controversy. VAR might come into play, you never know. You know, Russia and politics and all that fun (laughs) stuff. So, we'll see. Like, I highly um, recommend. You I know. think that's something to watch, but hopefully it doesn't happen. Yeah, hopefully it's not like yeah. soft for you. Yeah, I highly recommend um, definitely commenting well, everything actually, you might think. Before we go, Golden Boy, Golden Boot, okay, Golden Boot. My nominees, I have obviously Messi has one nominee, Mbappe has one. You could definitely come through. Thomas Mueller, yeah, he's been one of the top goal scorers in the yeah. past two World Cups. He could get closer to breaking his countryman closest mm-hmm. record. Um. Let me think of a... I'm going to go Griezmann, mm-hmm. Thomas Muller, and uh, Gabriel Jesus. That's who I'm going top um, three, golden, uh, golden boots. I'm going to add Lewandowski to mine. I feel like he could have a couple games where he scores a lot of goals. Yeah. yeah. 
I think, uh, yeah, I'm going Mbappe, Lewandowski. Uh, actually, I'm going to say a surprise that Marcus Asensio. Okay. The sorry. only reason I'm saying Jesus is because they're group stages. Yeah. I think Brazil might fill the net against a few of those teams. <laughs> mm. So, and I'll put Neymar in there because he's performed well for Brazil. Golden the Glove nominee? Obviously, I think Allison's going to be in there. I think he'll save Brazil a few times during this tournament. Uh, I think De Gea will mm-hmm. have a shout. Neuer as well. I actually think Neuer's gonna have a poor tournament. Oh, I'll go. Well, sp- but I'll you, go. Yeah, you have Germany going winning the tournament. I do. I don't. I don't. I don't think after the group stages, Neuer will play. Ter Stegen. D- does will, that make much sense? Actually, you know what? Ter Stegen actually, will. Ter Stegen you, you, you after the you group do, stages. You have a point. Germany will let in a few bad goals, and they'll say, you know what? Neuer maybe is not fully fit. Maybe he's not game ready. Ter Stegen will step in. So goal and glove nominees. I'm gonna say David de Gea. I think he'll. I think he he will win it. Honestly. Um. I'm not going to put Lloris. I think they won't rely on him as much. Maybe Allison. Those are the two I think we'll fight out. I don't I don't see anyone else stepping up that much. Yeah. Maybe maybe if England have a good run, maybe Nick Pope because he is so young. I don't think he's going to play unfortunately. You don't think? Yeah, neither do I. Uh, but you know my golden glove is going to David De Gea without a doubt. <laughs> so Right, so that's, that's it. No, just have it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, who do you guys think will be the best player in this tournament? Hmm. Last year it was James Rodriguez, I think. Gabriel Jesus. No, no. Last year it was oh. uh, Messi. One. Yeah, Messi did yeah. win. Yeah. I mean, last year. Uh, Gabriel Jesus will win the golden, or the the best player award. Mbappe for me. I think it's gonna be Neymar. Actually, hmm. I have two players: Mbappe and Conte. <laughs> I mean, Conte's. It depends how he, how integral he is. You, know, you never know. <laughs> I'm going to go with Neymar or Messi. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, with your South American final, why not? <laughs> yeah. So is that us done? Oh, who oh. do you guys think will be a player that isn't too known right now, but... Will be after the tournament? Yeah. You mentioned Golden Boy. Well, there's I don't think there's a Golden Boy in the World Cup awards. Is it the Young Player Award? Uh, I'll check for you, but let's talk about someone who you guys think will break through. <sighs> um, For Poland, I'm going to go with Peter Zelensky. So mm. I think a lot of he's underrated talent. Oh yeah. He, yeah, his manager sorry compared him to De Bruyne. So, so I definitely agree with you there. But oh, yeah, there is best young player. Yeah, there is best young player. Yeah. So Zielinski would be eligible, I think. Uh, would you say Jimenez for Uruguay? Uh, I don't know if he's eligible for the award. You have to be at most twenty one years of age. So okay. Zielinski wouldn't be eligible for, Ziel- for that award, though. Oh, he wouldn't. No, he's. I oh. Think, I'm going to go with a bit of a wild card for, for a player who's going to step up. He's already known, I think, pretty worldwide, but I'm going to say Raheem Sterling. Mm. I think this it's, could it, be a tournament. You have to be 21 for for the best young player. I'm talking about the... Oh, just someone who's going to break through? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I know Sterling's already broken through, but I think this will be his time on the internationals, for an international stage. Uh, and why well, do you think Zielinski will break through, have a yeah. big tournament? But I mean, for Golden Boy, I'm going to go with Rashford. I'm surprised you didn't go with Mbappe. You have him as a uh, Mbappe and Rashford. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I have Mbappe or Dembele potentially. Yeah. But also some guy you might not expect that could be mm. crucial for Argentina. Christian Pavon. Mm. He's a winger. He could be something different. Yeah. Some he, probably he, brought him up for a reason. Know, yeah. So maybe he could be give Argentina something that they didn't have before. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not sure. I guess I'd have him as best young player award. Mm-hmm. But obviously, there's other guys like, like. Okay, I can't think of anything. <laughs> but <laughs> does that wrap up our World Cup coverage? You think for at least for this week? Yeah, I think so. Well, yeah. we'll have a, definitely a couple shows a week from now on. I yeah, think. we're gonna try and do one probably on Tuesday or Wednesday, depending on time. Yeah, just before the World Cup. And we're gonna have our final kind of uh, predictions wrap up, kind of. What we're feeling about the tournament, maybe we'll have a bit of a shorter one, maybe that day, and just you know, a little table talk. Um, and talk about transfers as well, yeah, the opening the- ceremonies. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, <laughs> but um, I hope you've enjoyed that. I know we were really, we were really looking forward to covering the world cup, yeah. yeah. Um, it's arguably our favorite tournament that's out there, so yeah, um, yeah, you know, I hope this is a great tournament. Please comment and like and subscribe and all that kind of stuff. Rate you know? the podcast. Yeah. Let us know what you think of not only the podcast, but let us know uh, what you think about the tournament and players and everything. So uh, 
from all of us at the 90th minute. I'm Liam. I'm Lucas. Lu- that's, that's Lucas, and that's Waz. <laughs> And uh, thank you for tuning in. Yeah, I really hope Ovechkin brings the Stanley Cup to Russia. Great. Yeah, we'll see you next he's week. He's the ambassador for Russia. This has been a week in the beautiful game. So yeah, why not bring the Stanley Cup? That'd be awesome. Oh Have the Stanley God. Cup in the FIFA World Cup. That's That would be like the perfect picture of trophies. That's you know a week in the beautiful and game. And I mean, the new <laughs> World Cup song is actually pretty good. If you give it a couple listens, we're cutting it okay. there. <laughs> and there's actually two World Cup songs. Actually, three. I have, there I are heard three. Any of them. There's a Russian one, there's one with Jason Rulo, and the one with Will Smith. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's going to be a great World Cup.